Hi, I'm Don from Florida. In 1974, I joined the Republican Party. I registered Republican the year Nixon resigned because I was impressed that the Senate Republicans had enough integrity to understand that their president had done something criminally wrong and that their solemn duty to the nation did not include allowing the president to abuse his power. They didn't have to do that. They had a 42-seat majority and minority in the Senate, and that was easily enough to block the two-thirds majority that was needed to convict. But they told the president that they would join their Senate colleagues in voting to remove him. Contrast that with this year in February when the Senate, faced with evidence from the House hearings, that Trump had re had sought foreign help for re-election, decided not even to hear any witnesses of their own. They just voted to acquit regardless. I remember the Benghazi hearings with Clinton, Hillary Clinton. They, in all the eight hearings and investigations, they could not find anything criminally wrong that she had done or that her her department had done. All they found out was she had ignored warnings, she had not prepared, she was incompetent and negligent. And four Americans died in Benghazi. Compare that to Trump's handling of this pandemic. He also ignored warnings that a pandemic was likely, if not inevitable, he refused to prepare and, in fact, dismantled preparations that were already in place. And his incompetence and negligence have caused over 31,000 Benghazis in the last six months. And dozens more are happening every day. This president has not done very much at all, really, except for the tax cut. And when you have a booming economy and your infrastructure needs a lot of repair and expansion, a booming tax, a booming economy is the time to increase taxes to pay for that because the booming economy can handle it. But instead, he cut taxes, he divides the nation, he regularly attacks the Constitution he swore to defend, he in he uh, hires psychophants into high positions based solely on their psychophantic loyalty to him. We have got to get this man out of office. Now, with the allegations of the Russian bounties on American troops, and he wouldn't even bring that up when he was talking to Putin... When are you going to get the idea that this guy needs to be go needs to go? If not with this, what? If not now, when?